right, love and light, Gemini, this is going to be your weekly love reading. Okay, strategizing. So someone here could be strategizing on how they can communicate with you, collective, on how to, some of you might have a secret admirer, okay? You might have a secret admirer. Now, again, if you do not have a secret admirer or you're not interested in love, then just apply this to where it fits in your life, okay? If you're not looking for love, then this is something that you love to do that's involving your life's purpose, or you're searching and looking for your passion, where your passion lies in your life and in your purpose, okay? Mm, look at this. Man holding the heart when I cut the deck. <laughs> And the other side of the deck is the fourth chakra. Guess what that is? Your heart chakra. This is a love reading. This is a love reading, you guys. Let's see. What else? <clears throat> okay, so you're definitely thinking about love. Male or female, this is... Uh, but there is a divine feminine here who is thinking about love. They're thinking about somebody or there's someone thinking about you here and they're trying to strategize on how they're going to talk to you. And look at this, your intuition, your sixth chakra. Okay, so the sixth chakra is your third eye, your intuition. Okay, so if you're looking for some answers when it comes to your purpose, what you want to do in life, your goals, your aspirations and your creativity and whatever it is that you find passionate that you love and you enjoy doing here, you're thinking very hard about what you want to do and you're strategizing right now. But Spirit is saying you need to use a combination of strategy and a combination of following your heart. Trusting, put a plan in place, trust your intuition and use that because it, 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 it won't fail you. It won't fail you. <clears throat> now, for those of you, this is a situation involving love. I'm just going to tell you right now, there's obviously somebody here that's interested in you. <clears throat> They're trying to figure out how to approach you. Someone here is being led by their spirit guides or their ancestors or their angels. Third chakra. <clears throat> All right. Hmm. So that's confidence. Okay. You could be feeling like you're lacking that confidence. Okay, Spirit of Saint, put that deck away. Yeah, look at this, the sun, Leo energy. You could be a Leo, you could be dealing with a Leo here. Somebody could be a Virgo, you could be a Virgo or dealing with a Virgo, or you could be a water sign, a Pisces, or a Scorpio specifically, okay? Based on these cards that I'm seeing, that's the energies that we're seeing. Show me more for this situation for the collective, please. So this is either dealing with love or your purpose or your passions and creativity. Yeah. We have 444 here. The numbers 444 could be seeing those signs and synchronicities, you guys. <clears throat> Somebody here could be a writer or love to read books or is thinking about writing a book. If you're feeling led to write a book or read a book, Spirit is saying do it, okay? If you're feeling led to put together a business plan, Spirit is saying do that, okay? It's a wise decision for you to do it. Because there's some abundance available to you that you don't know about, by the way, or that you're not tapped into. Mars energy... Oh, hold on. So this is the Mars energy is about your, um, this is like emperor energy, right? Taking control of a situation, actually having confidence in yourself. This is also you being a leader, okay? You being a fighter, not giving up here. Um, <laughs> this is your ambition, okay? And you actually having and finding the courage and the willpower for something. But this is like not a wise energy too. But guess what? This can the Mars energy can also can also represent anger, competition, you know, the shadow side of it, right? Force. Okay. Some of you guys may have a um high sex drive right now <clears throat> so it looks like for those of you that are looking for your purpose or trying to trust and strategize on this new embarking on this new journey it looks like you're discovering 
new facets of who you are. You're you're like either tapping into some form of creativity and your purpose or you're being led to something and you're starting to feel more confident, more in control. There's a new start coming for you, okay? Pay attention to new people, new opportunities and experiences that the universe puts into your path, okay? So there could be a new path, a new person being placed into your path, and they're going to help you along towards your purpose in some way, shape, or form. This is good. This is good. This is really good. New moon energy. A new start. Show me what else for the collective, please. Thank you, Sagittarius. So you could be a Sag. Uh, all right. I like this energy. If you're not a Sagittarius, this is good luck. So whatever this new start is, it's going to be good. But it's important for you to take some form of a risk. But trust your intuition. Okay, there could be some travel involved here. Spirit is saying keep an open mind. Okay, so don't be afraid to speak up. Don't be afraid to be keep, keep an open mind and stay positive too. All right. <clears throat> Good luck energy. Unicorn energy. I like this. What else for the collective? Starting a new cycle. You got some new beginnings coming towards you. Some good luck. Something that's going to make you feel free. It's going to be fun, adventurous. If this is a connection, then this is going to, this could be a fire sign. They don't have to be or a cancer. Uh, but this is going to be somebody who's fun, very adventurous, positive person. This person loves to travel and explore. Or this is you exploring on this new journey. <coughs> Some of you all may have to pack your bags and travel or move. That could involve that. Yeah, the give and small. Okay. Uh, oh, okay, great. This is this is good energy. So you're very very close to achieving this goal here. Okay, and you're going to be. If this is going to be fruitful, you're going to be successful. It's like you could have just wrapped up a final phase. You just wrapped up a, an old phase and now you're stepping into a new phase, okay? But there's something that needs some tweaking that needs to be done or like there could be a need for you to like restart your strategize your plan like we said earlier, right? Take a look at that again, okay? Pay close attention to details. Pay close, close attention to a contract if there's a contract involving a job um, or an opportunity, okay? Attention to the details right now and focus. Uh, and trust your intuition. Trust that it won't lead you astray. Then we have the trine. Okay, so good luck again. Look at this. Luck is here. Like, wow. This is going to feel effortless to you. It's going to come with ease. It's going to make you feel balanced. There's not going to, there are going to be tons of benefits to this. Wow. <laughs> oh, this is really, really beautiful energy here. Show me what else for the collective. The black moon. So there's something, you know, you're you you might be afraid right now. Okay, I, like I said earlier, there was seemingly like a lack of confidence because you're thinking about whatever this is, right? For some of you all, there are some things that are hidden, which is why you need to pay close attention to the details, okay? You might not be ready for this change right now. You know, maybe everything is not all figured out, and that's okay. You don't have to have it all figured out. Okay, transit, ast okay, astrological transits favor you at this time. I don't know how many messages are here that Spirit is telling you this is in your favor, this is in your favor, this is good love. Alright, the Wheel of Fortune energy. Wheel of Fortune energy here. Even though you might be afraid to, of this change or moving forward, Spirit is telling you not to be because it's going to leave you in the sun, sun energy. Happy. Fruitful. Look at this. Snow moon. Oh, I love this. Transition. <laughs> so some of you all are coming out of hermit mode and you need to take action or you need to be willing to do that, okay? It's time for you to make 
plans for your future and get some rest now because I feel like you're going to be really busy when this new cycle is like, it's right around the corner. You might as well embrace this change, okay? Look at this, fifth house. Interesting. Somebody's fifth, fifth house. So this, some of you all are starting a new cycle in love, okay? Romance is coming. Remember we talked about creativity. You're going to be dating, having a great time, like for real. I definitely feel like new love is coming in for you for sure. You might meet this person along your path to your purpose. I love this. Look at this. Look at what's on the bottom of the deck, y'all. I cannot make this up. Jupiter. Jupiter. Love. Abundance. Growth. Fulfillment. Happiness. Travel. Change. Take a chance, foreign, foreign affairs, so you, optimism and exploration, you're going to be doing some, some of y'all might be moving or traveling abroad, maybe that's what this opportunity is, like, I'm not telling you to go gamble, but like, you have a lot of luck around you right now, so you might want to take advantage of that in whatever way you see fit, trust your intuition, trust your intuition, alright, let's see what else here, show me what else here for the collective, I like this reading. Ooh, protected by love. Y'all have love coming in. Oh my goodness. There's somebody coming in for you who's going to protect you, who wants to protect you, who wants to take care of you. Mm. Oh, what was that? Oh, hold on. Settling in love. What's going on? So some of you guys are settling for a situation. That's a side note. That's not for everybody, but somebody is. You know, <clears throat> oh, you know what this is? You feel like you've given up on love. And you're never going to find real love. That's what, remember when we first started out in this reading collective? It was like you're thinking about love. Is it coming? You know? Spirit is saying, don't give up on finding true love. You know, don't settle, okay, for second best. Do not settle for second best. Spirit wants you to have what you deserve. Wow, mature relationship. That's why spirit doesn't want you to settle. Because you have a mature relationship coming here. Somebody who's going to be willing to carry their weight and your weight period this person is going to protect you love you they might be older than you okay but the union is this is somebody who's going to be supportive dependable <clears throat> oh lordy who is this Somebody played the field. Are you afraid that somebody's playing the field? Or are you not ready to... Somebody's not ready to settle down here. If you are out in the... For some of you all, you're not ready to date. And you're just, you just you just want to have fun. And you want it to be casual. You don't want anything serious. Okay? For others of you, if you're not playing the field, then you may feel like when this person comes in, it's too good to be true. Are they a player? Show me more here. Show me more here. One more for the collective. What is going on? One more for the collective. Thank you. Twin flame. So some of y'all are dealing with a twin. So some of you all either are meeting your new twin flame or you feel like the twin flame that you dealt with in the past is a player. All right. But you're getting ready to meet your real true, true flame. Your, I can't even talk. Your real true flame. Some of you guys were dealing with your karmic twin flame, a false twin flame. And when you do meet this new love, it's going to be great. Mm. Your soul meet your twin flame. It may be filled with challenges until you merge and balance your energies. So I feel like this twin flame energy is the person who was the player. You went through a lot of ups and downs with this twin. 
But you, and, and so Spirit is telling you, you know, not a lot of people are meant to end up with their twin, by the way, okay? So you might, that might be why you're thinking about this whole love situation. Your intuition could have been guiding you to move away from this twin because this, it just wasn't a healthy situation for you. You know what I'm saying? You felt like you were settling. But your spirit is saying you're going to be happily ever after. Don't settle for second best. Settle for what you deserve because guess what? What you deserve is this. This happily ever after, this love story. You're stepping into your happily ever after, a future filled with so much joy and personal fulfillment. Boom. With the sun card. Hello. I'm just saying. <coughs> Give me a few more cards here for this reading for the collective, please. What else does the collective need to know? What else does the collective need to know? Listen, the the answer to your question is yes. The answer to your question is yes, okay? Um, I love this. No one compares to you. They can't fight it anymore. Their heart keeps coming back to you. Let yourself be surprised, okay? <coughs> Oh boy, so it looks like the past is lurking. So, you know, if you were dealing with a twin in the past, somebody who you felt like they didn't quite meet your standard or it wasn't exactly what you wanted or whatever, the spirit is saying, don't settle with this person, and but don't be, um, don't lose sight of what you deserve basically because you will have this happily ever after the answer is yes just be patient trust your intuition follow where you feel guided and another yes card look at this clear the air a lot was left unsaid they can no longer hide the way they feel about you fall so somebody could be um a Taurus Virgo, Capricorn, um, somebody, this person here might wants, wants to have a conversation with you and clear the air and get some closure. So that can include this. <coughs> show me, show me here for the collective, please. What else do they need to know? Career focus, need career satisfaction and financial security before prioritizing love when you least expect it. So, again, for those of you who are dealing with a situation where you're strategizing and you're more focused on your stability, your career, your, your purpose in life, you're not really focused on love. Spirit is saying you're doing the right thing. Focus more on your passions. Focus more on your creativity. Focus more on your financial security before you prioritize love, which I feel like you guys definitely have been doing that because love is going to come in when you least expect it. Okay. And it's going to be good. So there's somebody here in your energy who is ruled by the ego here. Okay. They don't have the same awareness that you have. They haven't grown they haven't ascended. <sighs> Somebody tried to replace you, but you are irreplaceable. Somebody thought here that they could find somebody better than you, and they were not. They couldn't find anybody better than you. And you're not waiting for them. For some of you, this person could have thought that you were going to wait for them, and you're not. Okay? Just so you know, you're not meant to wait for this person. Everybody has free will. I'm just telling you what the energy is here. Show me one more. Thank you. The family issues. Yeah, family responsibilities are holding them back. Maybe a marriage. So whoever this person is, they could be married. Don't put your life on hold for this person. Don't wait for them to get their shit together. Period. Okay. It, <clears throat> see, like I said, somebody's not awakened. You know, this person hasn't healed, you know, especially if you're dealing with your twin, it's like somebody has ascended, the other person hasn't, you have something else coming in, and they're still going to be stuck in this energy. Let's see what signs you could be dealing with. Could be dealing with a Pisces, could be dealing with a Leo, a Capricorn, Aries, <coughs> or Taurus. 
Or it's or it's a gay. One more. Cancer. Alright. I love you guys. That's your reading. Make, make sure you hit the like button to support the channel. 